Has food gone too far? There's over ten different kinds of food now, and choosing between them can take hours, even though it usually doesn't. Also, there's a 100% correlation between people who have died and people who have eaten food. We live in really busy times, so having to buy ingredients, take them home, cook them in a healthy fashion and eat them round a table with your family and friends is wasting time that you could be spending answering emails, answering emails or answering emails. There must be a way to take one of life's few remaining pleasures out of your daily routine. Yes, there is. Hello, my name is Terence Bumble and the solution to the problem that you didn't know you had already exists. Meat gruel, a nutritionally balanced mixture of water with oats in and nothing. Gruel provides all of the vitamins the body needs and none of the vitamins the body wants. Made from real food. Gruel was last utilised in the 19th century to keep young children working in the factories for up to 18 hours a day. When was the last time that you were that productive? Do you really want to be lazier than a child? Furthermore, gruel is really cheap. With all the cash you save consuming gruel instead of meals, you'll have more money to spend on gruel. The British Empire was built on the power of gruel. But since people started receiving money to buy food with instead of being slaves, the empire has been whittled down to a nubbin. This is not an incongruity, it's an incongruity. Think about what your business could achieve if you subsist on gruel. Lots. You can ingest gruel anywhere, at your desk, in your car, alone in the staff toilets, on the way back to your desk and at home. People were happier in the olden days and you can be too, because if you choose not to have nice things in your life, you'll never want for anything. My body's been utilising gruel for just one day and you can already see the difference. Gruel. It'll keep you alive. But at what cost?